this is an important topic to, that we need to discuss. So Leanne is going to be bringing a friend to the airport. And then I said, I'm like, I hope this friend is going to be spending like the equivalent to what they would have spent on an Uber, like on you in some way, whether it be dinner, whether it be like, I think uh, they usually do. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but like girls don't like taking Ubers. I don't because it's probably like eight times out of ten, I feel very uncomfortable with the driver. Like yeah. I like when there's really? a woman driver, but if it's a male, like almost every single time. Even in Orlando, that driver that took me there to the content was it was just so awkward. Like oh, I had a bad experience. Got me shit in the trunk. He's like, I fucking hate Florida. I can't wait to leave all these fucking Trump supporters. Really? And I'm just like, bro, like I didn't even tell you my name or anything. Like you're already going off. I feel like get hit on. Even when I'm like, I'm gonna go meet my boyfriend. They're they still like it doesn't matter. And it's already uncomfortable enough that they're strangers, but you're hitting on me and I'm in your car. Like just yeah. take me to where I fucking want to go, please. For the love of God. Oh, yeah. So I get it when girls don't want to. So I would get them like whatever. Wow. Nearly a quarter of women have turned in Uber drivers for making them feel. It's ridiculous. Wow. It's really yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> what? I have literally never once. I mean. It's really I'll annoying. Chit chat with Uber drivers. But. I mean, sometimes it's annoying because you're like, all right, but you also like are driving for for multiple hours. Maybe you're lonely. Sometimes the conversation gets annoying, but yeah. I'll I'm just talk about it. whatever. But I'll just, make it. It's, they it's don't want to talk to me anymore. Like I'll start bringing up weird shit so that they end the conversation. Like what? I'll just be like, oh wow, you know where we can meet some single men here. Like oh, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Your voice. There is a story of a girl who uh, I think she was like 17 that the, the driver was spraying something in the car and she started to feel sick and she tried to put the windows down. She just ended up jumping out. Wow. What? I saw, I saw it on, and I saw really? her like, like, it, a, like an aerosol crazy. Yeah. yeah. There's been a lot. Now make sprayable roofing. They, they have know. ones where you can just touch somebody's shoulder or any anything. As a matter of fact, one of my doctor friends called me and told me, tell your children that be careful <laughs> in bars because they can actually just touch you now, transdermal. No oh way. God. Oh, my God. That's, we have enough trans. Now we have to worry about transdermal. <laughs> what the fuck, Carmen? Don't come in here with this extra oh shit to worry God. about. <laughs> Transdermal. I'm looking this up. Transdermal. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how they do it, but one of my doctor friends called and said, warn your children. Transdermal patches. It's like you can't do anything anymore. I guess what would you what would you search? Transdermal I'm... roofies? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> See, this is why you know. go to those places with friends and not alone. Per even when yeah. I was in New York. You know, I it was in my prime time to go to bars and stuff. Usually people my age do that. Uh, I didn't because of things like that, unless I'm with friends or a boyfriend or something. It's just getting crazier and the trafficking has gotten insane. You hear all of these stories when you scroll TikTok, especially in Texas, too, about girls like in broad daylight getting abducted in parking lots, getting abducted inside of stores like they try to do what um, Carmen was saying and using new drugs to be able to just like take someone out like that by barely even being near them what just touch this him a little bit this, this is why i love listening to britney she is always teaching me something I would <laughs> the, expect whole, kind of the whole lolly con i'd never even heard of it mm. i would expect this kind of shit in new york city but this is this saddens me that this could be happening in texas yeah and especially like, in I've southern texas roofied. i don't think i've ever been roofied which i'm kind of upset about that no one's even tried <laughs> <laughs> you know like, what about me <laughs> yeah. yeah you know probably all people look at me and go that girl's gonna pass out all by herself i don't you know I, I had something happen where someone i think accidentally got roofied for me um so she i think she was tr she was trying okay so she was the type of person that and this is just my opinion i don't have proof that it was a roofie but i'll tell you why i think it was so I was at an event where there were other YouTubers and um, which were men and um, I won't say who they were, but I, again, I don't know for sure. It could just be like, that's how she reacted to alcohol. Okay. 
But I'm saying I've seen her drink a lot of times. I've never seen this happen to her. Okay. I know she likes drinking a lot in terms of like, you know, those people who they can't stop drinking. Like once they get a couple in, they keep wanting more and more and more. My friends like that, but I've never seen her react like this. So what happened was one of the YouTube people tried to give me a shot. I am not one of those people who keeps drinking, drinking, drinking usually, unless it's like a beer or something light. Right. So after the second one, I was like, and I know to like watch people bring shots usually. I'm usually pretty careful about that. And I had a couple and I was like, I'm good. And then they tried to press on and give me another one. Like they were really pressing me like, no, I'm going to buy you. I'm going to buy you a shot. I'm going to buy wow. you a shot. They and then really I was concerned like, about your hydration, Venti. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah but like the people who are like too forceful about it and mm. so then um my friend who was with me intervened she literally took the shot from me and then because we didn't see mm. like you're again you're supposed to watch when the bartender makes it you know just in case you're not supposed to keep your eye off your drink for more than a few seconds because that's all it takes but she took the shot from me and she took it and then i'm tired so i took like a little nap at the bar it's like one of these like open bars <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on in music. And I woke up after like 10, 15 minutes of napping in the corner with like my jacket on me, like a blanket. And I see everyone was doing a cha-cha. And then next thing, thing I know, my friend co goes to the bathroom. She doesn't come out. It's been like five, 10 minutes. It's been a little long and the bar's closing. And then the bouncer finds her in the bathroom on the floor. And she's like mm -hmm. passed out. She's like almost conscious, like conscious mm -hmm. enough to start throwing up but she's not really mm. that responsive. Like, mm. and I've never seen her like this. And I've seen her drink a lot of times. And um, she was dead weight. Like I had to get someone help me carry her out into the Uber. And then um, I had to end up making the call to take her to the hospital because I saw her eyes were like yeah. rolled in back of her head. So oh gosh, that's that scary. was, like, yeah, I was like terrified scary. for her safety as well but then i realized after the fact like wait a second that's i don't know if that's a normal reaction to alcohol because i again i've seen her drink and i haven't seen that happen to that extent where someone's dead weight and you need yeah. men's help to carry them out and they're not that's waking really scary, up but also great that you were there out. to help her yeah I, I had to make sure like nothing bad happened to her because like obviously she 100 percent could have been taken advantage of but yeah it really um, it really is instant. Like it's not even worth it. If you take your eyes mm -hmm. off your drink, just throw it out. Honestly, you know, I was only roofied different. once, and it was from a bartender, and they had them on camera. No. That's what I was just gonna oh, say, my oh my god, no gosh. way! And it happened to so many girls. Be like, careful. and we didn't know. And then I just started talking about it, and, and someone was like, "Wait, my friend was there, and that happened to her too." And because my friend seen me that night, she's like, "I never seen you like that. I was dead weight, like I was falling everywhere, and I only had two drinks." But apparently, mm -hmm. it happened to many girls that I know, actually know personally. So they like watched the tape, and apparently, he was doing it for a minute. Oh. So, Whoa. yeah. How does a bartender think they're gonna roofie a girl and then score? It's like I, don't I, you I have, have no idea. The whole shift. We asked that too. I'm like. You're not leaving with them like they're going to be too fucked up for one to like be there till your shift's over. Like, do you think they're just going to be laying on the floor for you to drag yeah, them out when you're done? Like, drunk, yeah, I don't understand. Orgasm. Like, what? Who wants to have sex with a completely passed out? Well, many, many people. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. People who be with dead it's people. Many people. <laughs> It's and the fact weird. they just you bring know. it with them to work too, like yeah. they're like keeping it in their pocket or whatever. It's it's so strange. That's what they ask. Like, what is the point <laughs> of him doing this? Like, I just to do it to like watch it, like to see if other dudes will take them or like tell other dudes, like, hey, I put that. Like, I really don't know. It's really weird. This is why yeah. I think bars should sell like a couple of those like real dolls because it's basically the same yeah. effect. Like, it's dead weight. Like, you're like. <laughs> And it's just, okay, you have this 100-pound thing to carry home and fuck. Like, just here, have a real doll. I mean, you have to pay for it, of course. Or they but, should you know. have those, like, straws that tell you if there's something in the drink. I don't mm -hmm. know why that wouldn't be standard practice at bars. Don't they nowadays. have nail polish like that or something? Like Yeah, a lot of different types of products can... like that. Like, they sell mm -hmm. them for camping. Like, it's a straw you can put into a river and just go... And it <laughs> yeah, yeah, out. the filter oh, one. The river, the river bugs. Yeah. They have that, but for just nightlife. I like love <laughs> the root of it. Throughout the, the roofie. That sounds fun. 
Russell Hall, thanks for the five. Pro tip, before you attempt to aerosol roof your passenger, make sure to lock the doors and that you have mm -hmm. control of the locks. It's day one stuff. Wow, sounds like uh, something Matt Lauer would say. <laughs> I actually heard something about the door thing. So when you get an Uber, you're supposed to check to make sure the door handle inside is still on because sometimes they'll take them out and then you can't get out. That's something oh, no. I've heard to check yeah. for before you get an Uber. That's so smart. That's oh, good. No. Just I had a lot of bad Uber story was somebody too. stunk. The guy stunk so bad. I was like, oh, I forgot a bag. Drop the me back Uber driver? <laughs> it was so bad. Was he Indian? Ooh, that's a good excuse. No, he Who was that not. He was, he was just a regular young kid. And I don't know. Like, maybe I don't know what was wrong Damn, with him. Damn, you Indian Uber drivers have competitions. Bad. <laughs> people trying to get into your smelly market dan halen for five <laughs> most if not all uber drivers in the uk are immigrants of middle eastern or african origin so i'd imagine the complaints here are even higher that's very Holy. racist of you dan very <laughs> unbelievable morty smith thanks for the five whatever euro pounds i don't know what that means you can bring a chrissy to fizzy water but you can't make her drink it true <laughs> thank you <laughs> Wow, that is scary. Hunter, Chrissy's a model woman and a woman who should model. Oh, my God. Stop it, Hunter.